Hi Dear Fam, I'm Mummy Dear. Welcome back to my channel. We have another comparison video. In today's video, we're going to compare two popular baby carriers, the baby wrap and the structured buckle carrier. Want to know which is worth it? Stick around. Let's start by introducing the baby wrap. Specifically, I have the Solly Baby Wrap here in the blush Swiss dot pattern. I got it for $100 Canadian and that's tax and shipping included. A baby wrap is a long piece of fabric that you wrap around your body and your baby to keep them close to you. You do have to wrap in a very strategic way. Let's break down its pros and cons. It is suitable for a baby from 8 to 25 pounds, meaning it is suitable for most babies from birth. It is really the closest mimic to being back in the womb, and if done right, it can often lull a baby into a very calm state and even to sleep. One obvious advantage to the baby wrap is that it is super lightweight to pack and go. And with this specific design, there's even an inbuilt pouch at the end of the fabric that you can stuff all of the wrap in so that you'll be ready to go. It comes in a fast array of colors and patterns, so you can most definitely choose one to suit your taste. It also serves as a multifunctional piece. It can be a blanket, a cover for breastfeeding, and a carrier. The fact that it can only carry a baby up to 25 pounds means that you won't get the same longevity of use as the structured carrier, which we will talk about next. It can be difficult to learn the tying method, especially in the beginning when you have to practice on an infant. But according to many testimonials, for those who persist, it can become easy. Here's one thing that doesn't get mentioned, but is indeed a huge problem for me, at least, being a petite mom. I'm around 5'2", and when I prepare the wrap just to put the baby in, the ends often are so long that they touch the floor. For this reason, I've only ever used this in the house and not once in public. Another realistic problem is that my hubby, my baby's grandparents, and her nanny were all not on board on learning to use this because I guess there is a steep learning curve. So in case you ever get this, be prepared that you might be the only one to use it and no one's gonna share the load. It's only designed to carry the baby in the front carry facing in position. But as we all know, a child does want to look at its surroundings when they get older. So again, that factors into its longevity of use. For the structured buckle carrier, as its name implies, comes with padded shoulder straps and a thick padded waistband that you strap the baby to yourself through buckles. The fabric creates a pouch to support the baby's hips and legs. This can carry a child from seven to 45 pounds, meaning not only is it good for a newborn, it is even good for a bigger toddler. As compared to the Solly Baby Wrap, which can only carry a child up to 25 pounds, this has a much greater longevity of use. Its versatility is really in its carry positions. There are four in total. Number one, there's the front carry facing in option, good for newborns and smaller babies. Number two, there's the front carry facing out option. That's good for babies who are around five months and older and who has good and consistent neck support. Number three, there's the hip carry option, good for babies who are six months and older and has good neck support. Then, number four, there's the back carry option, also good for babies who are six months and older, but is also good for older kids who will tire from longer walks and hikes. It is extremely easy to use. You basically buckle on and tighten the straps. 
It's highly adjustable and it's padded straps and good lumbar support makes it an ergonomic option. There are some thoughtful details that are worth mentioning, like this small detachable pouch at the bottom here that is enough to fit your wallet, your keys, your phone to run quick errands with. Also up here we have a sun canopy that has UPF 50 plus protection to keep your little one from overheating if they end up napping on you. There are a few things that you might want to consider and one being that it is a pricier carrier, double the price of that of the baby wrap, but it does last longer in terms of its use. It's extremely bulky to pack and it often requires a separate bag of its own to carry along with you. It is made of 100% cotton and the thick fabric can make your little one quite warm when you're out in the sun for a while. If you live in hotter climates, you can consider the cool air mesh version that is available. The following is my personal opinion, but if I have to choose between buying one or the other, I would choose the Ergo Omni 360. It comes at a higher price tag, but for good reason. It's accepted for use by my hubby and my baby's caregivers. The Omni 360 carrier has a longer use for toddlers even up to 45 pounds. The Solly Baby Wrap comes in at half the price and offers a very natural way of carrying the baby. If you get proficient with tying the wrap, it is a very portable and versatile option to travel with. Ultimately, the learning curve was just too steep for myself and others around me. Being small in stature, it hangs way too long and the ends touch the floor as I prepare the wrap to put the baby in, making it not very practical for public use. There are definite pros and cons to these two types of baby carriers. Please let us know what is your preferred method in the comment section below. If you enjoy watching review videos like this, please support by hitting the like button. Consider subscribing for more videos like this and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss the next video. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hi, Din Din. Hello. Adi, go hi. Niagara Park. Say hi again. Then go out. Hi, la. Say hi. Hello, baby. Hi. Hi. Do you hi ga? Hello. Aiyah, Din Bei Mi, na Din Bei Mi. A fi man la. Come to you, Kao ga. Oh, you hana. Bei. You hana.